All right, today's talk's gonna be on biohacking. We're gonna go over a couple of things to talk about how you can biohack your brain's communication with your hormones, biohack your brain's communication and how it causes injuries. And we're gonna talk about hormones and inflammation. And this is gonna be more about the low-hanging fruit. We can use all these fancy biohacking tools, but if you're eating gluten, if your hormones are shot, if you got low thyroid function, let's just grab the low-hanging fruit first. So one of my big sayings is, Health is the goal of the sick. Optimal health is the goal of the biohacker. So we're gonna talk about hormones and inflammation. Your body is either in an anabolic state or a catabolic state. It's building up or breaking down. We wanna set your hormones on a path where you're building up more than you're breaking down. That's a key concept. We wanna talk about hormones and brain communication. We're gonna talk about the HPA axis and the HPT axis, how our brain talks to our thyroid and our adrenal glands. And we're also gonna talk about proprioception and nociception, how our brain communicates to our body and how we move and how we can prevent injuries with providing good, healthy communication. One of my favorite quotes by Yogananda goes something like, environment is stronger than willpower. I've kind of adapted that quote to being, hormones are stronger than willpower. Hormones are chemical messengers that tell your body to build up or break down or create energy. It tells your body to store calories as fat or shut them to the mitochondria for energy. We're gonna talk about how hormones play a huge effect. This is what got me on top of the Bulletproof diet. What you can see here is this. Cholesterol is the raw material for all of your hormones. Healthy fat, healthy protein is the building block. So it's really important the Bulletproof diet has that fat and protein component dialed in. And if you need healthy hormones, you have to make sure the healthy substrates are there. Now let's dial that in a little bit more. So this is our adrenal hormone cascade. And I see many patients that are chronically injured, chronically in pain, and their adrenals are so fatigued, they don't have the hormonal substrate to even signal the body to heal. So we can see here, cholesterol is the mother up top, and we have the various hormones coming down. We have the red being the stress hormones, the cortisol. We have the blue being the androgens, and we have the pink being the progesterone and estrogen. When we have a stress response, what's actually happening is this. This could be physical, chemical, emotional stress, eating gluten, blood sugar issues, chronic infections, low thyroid function. What you're gonna see is high amount of cortisol. This is gonna cause your body to break down various proteins, structural tissue, and it's gonna help with inflammation and stress. If this stays chronic, our body loses the ability to adapt, and you can see what happens to the female and the male hormones. Our ability to heal goes down, PMS is gonna go up, mood issues are gonna go up, and if we continue to keep this pattern there, watch what happens to the cortisol. So this is when we're in a state of being tired and we can't heal, really crappy. So this is an important hormonal cascade that we see in chronically injured people. And we wanna remove that e-brake, right? If you're driving with the e-brake on, you're not gonna be able to really go your optimal speed. You feel that pull from behind. We wanna get rid of that additional stress. So let's break that down. That slide's a little complicated, really simple. We have the hormone building blocks up top. That's our cholesterol, our fats, right? Stress is gonna activate that and shift it more to the stress hormone side. We're gonna break down faster than we build up. And again, we wanna release those stressors so we can build up a little bit faster than we break down. And this is really important. I see lots of patients running thyroid panels on a bulletproof diet. Many of them have sky high cholesterol, sky high. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when we run a thyroid panel right next to it, we see low T3 levels. And again, anyone that knows cholesterol therapy in the early 80s, they were treating high cholesterol with thyroid hormone. Not necessarily the root cause, but if you have high cholesterol and you have low thyroid function, you may not be able to utilize your hormone substrates to actually build your hormones up. And that could be a root cause issue. So again, we wanna get your body in an anabolic state. Your body's always hardwired to deal with the stress of right now versus healing tomorrow. If we don't deal with now, tomorrow never comes. So this is a cool little chart, looking at the HPA and the HPT axis, hypothalamus pituitary, hypothalamus adrenal thyroid axis. A little confusing, I'm gonna break it down, make it a little more simple here. So basically, on the right, we have our brain talking to our adrenals. On the left, we have our brain talking to our thyroid. And you can see with the adrenals, we're making cortisol and we're making sex hormones. And with the thyroid, we're making T4 and T3. And we have these various feedback loops that communicate from the brain down to the end organs. 
These feedback loops are like a thermostat. So imagine the house at 70 degrees, temperature goes too hot, the AC kicks in, and vice versa for the heat. And again, what's happening is we have chronic stress that activates and disrupts these feedback loops. So it alters the brain communication to the organ. So stress in any relationship, right? Bad communication, not good with you and your partner, not good with you and your organs and your body. So you can see here, when we have these stressors, it's gonna activate and dysfunction our HP, HPT axis, and you're gonna see what happens to the hormones. We're gonna have more cortisol and we're gonna have less thyroid hormone. And this is gonna set your body up to be more catabolic and break down and not heal. Just like that right there. And again, the reason why this happens is if our body is breaking down too much, the body's trying to put the brake on the metabolism. Common side effects are you're gonna get fat, you're gonna get flabby, you're gonna get tired, and you're gonna get moody. So we wanna actually not take a pill or a supplement for it that's gonna, tr that's gonna address the symptoms. We wanna actually fix the root issue. And that can be using both supplements and natural medicine as well. So this is the cool slide here. This is gonna be talking about brain communication and our joints, right? So we have two main signals that go to our brain. We have nociception, which is pain, and we have mechanoreception, which is movement. And typically, we want a balanced approach. And what happens is when we're chronically in pain, that pain signal increases. And what actually shows in the research is high amount of pain signals cortisol. Cortisol is going to break down the area in your brain called the hippocampus. And that's the area involved in memory and learning. So if you're a biohacker, that's definitely a no-no. We want to shift nociception, bring it down, increase mechanoreception, and that could be doing isometric movements. That could be doing high, uh, high interval burst training. That could even be resistance training. And that's also going to increase brain-derived neurotropic factor, which helps neuronal cell growth in the brain and help you become wicked smart. The Boston side of me comes out there. Apologize. So you can see here, this is a common imbalance that we see with chronically injured people. We have the tight section, which is the lower back and the hip flexors. We have the wheat section, the weak, Freudian slip, wheat. <laughs> that will definitely make your abs weak for sure. We have the weak section here, which is your lower abdominals and your glutes. And when we take this imbalance and we cross it together, this is called lower cross syndrome. And this imbalance is a death rattle for all dysfunction in the lower body. So we're gonna talk about how the brain communicates and gets these muscles better. And I'm actually over in the demo section, we're testing these muscles and we're bringing them back to balance. And a lot of balance and flexibility issues is a function of neurology, and we can use electricity and other modalities to bring balance back into the nervous system. So how a muscle works, right? A muscle is designed to absorb force. Current or force goes into the muscle, right? This is like me jumping up and squatting. What's happening here? The glute eccentrically absorbs that force, and we have a nice contraction, no problem. But when we have injury, this is what happens. Force comes into the muscle like this. It can't absorb it, so where does it go? Disc, cartilage, tendons, ligaments. These are all soft tissue structures that don't get much blood flow. They're called avascular tissues, so it takes forever to heal. And then over time, compensation patterns develop. So let's show you what a compensation pattern looks like. Force comes into the muscle, and let's say it's your ankle. Maybe I walk around and I'm shifting more of my weight to my right hip flexor and having this side of my body do more of the work, and over time, this side's gonna shut down and create compensation patterns. And if you're chronically injured, if you're not performing well, you see injuries mainly on one side of your body, this is probably happening at some level, and we can use electricity to run it through and see where these compensation patterns are happening. We can even use kinesiology to assess the muscular chain and see how it's functioning. So really simple, are you in balance? I urge everyone to go get checked. I'm doing kinesiological testing. We're running currents through people, trying to find the areas of hidden inflammation and trying to get that at least back on track. So a couple of things here, if you wanna get more in touch with me and what I'm doing, you can find me at justinhealth.com. I have a, a hormone series on thyroid and adrenals because I find addressing the hormonal issues really helps with the injuries. And especially if, you're, if you don't have the hormonal substrates there, it's going to be really hard for you to regulate inflammation and for your body to heal. Check that out. Also, a free consultation as well. I see patients all over the world. Check that out via Skype and via phone. YouTube.com slash Justin Health. I have about 130 videos up there. And check out my podcast at beyondwellnessradio.com. About 50,000 downloads a month there. And again, get assessed after the talk. I'm over there. I got some cool little tools and more than willing to help you guys out. Thank you so much.